So let's talk about some of the challenges, though, with this configuration. Uh, and I think you can break it into two categories. First is there's challenges for Splunk administrators. Um, and I think those fall into a couple of areas. Number one, you have to constantly monitor data, and Splunk itself is constantly spending its own compute cycles uh, moving data be between uh, the various buckets. And if you're using the architecture that we described, you're moving that data across the network, right? And so that network, and in some cases, you may be uh, traversing protocols. Uh, you know, one might be block attached, the other might be NAS attached. So uh, there's a variety of things you have to think about there uh, as, as, you, uh, as it happens. And then, of course, the Splunk and the administrator, to a lesser extent, has to monitor each copy job. And then finally, uh, all, all this is occurring while Splunk is trying to do the main thing you bought it for, which is index and respond to user requests. And, and really, in a perfect world, all you want Splunk doing is indexing and responding to uh, user requests. You don't necessarily want it doing all this data management stuff um, that's there.